Hi everyone, my name is Nico Kuch uh, from NK Immersive Media. Uh, we will be doing 3D visualization of a bed today. Okay, so what we're going to do is first start off by creating a plane and the plane length and width is king size 203 and 193 centimeters. Now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, bed base, the, so the bed head bed. Um, and what we're going to do is add some segments, say 10 by 10. That should work fine. So all we can we can decorate any which way we want. But what I want to do is um, put these little dots. You see them everywhere. Um, they they're quite prevalent. So we just size it up so all the segments look like squares. So it's nice and symmetrical. Uh, we don't have to be super accurate here. So now next what we do is we just basically convert it into an editable poly. Um, once we've done that, we can actually reach out to the vertex. Uh, so you see the three dots there on the, on the right hand side. So that's why I click. Now, next, what we do is just select every second vertex. Now, this is going to take a little while, um, but the whole point of this is that we need to basically select the vertices. And then what we're going to do is do an extrude, and we're going to pull those vertices all the way to the back of the uh, bed head. Um, and then um, we should uh, eye the, uh, the effect by switching on turbo smooth. We're going to do that. Oh, sorry, that was a mistake. Um, now, um, this is a little bit painstaking, but um, if anybody has a quick way of doing it, please uh, put your comments down below. Next, we do a hit connect, and then what we do is um, oh, uh, we can increase the the size of the actual extrude. Oh, I think I hit chamfer instead of um, extrude. Let me try that again. Now we go hit extrude. Now what we can do is we'll pull all the way back. Just make sure that we don't go through the back of the uh, the headbed. Um, now we can adjust the size uh, of the extrude of the extrude. So it's 18 centimeters approximately, and the whole size is about three centimeters. Now when we hit turbo smooth, uh, now we've got turbo smooth made it to be poly. We can turn it on and off again just to see the effect. Now if we're happy with that, we can just proceed and go straight to the base of the bed now um, uh, looking at it it looks pretty good we change your color um, to something like gray and if we hit turbo smooth again let's see how that looks like um, and um, I'm trying to basically see whether or not I could set, um, do do a, um, a very quick swift loop on the edges but so it doesn't look like a, a vertical mattress so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the base of the bed so just basically um, ensure that we have snap on to the vertices and we basically size it according to that plane that we did right at the beginning. So I think 203, 193 and 40 centimeter height should be fine. We adjust the leg segments to 10, 10, 10 and uh, turn on turbo smooth and have a look at how that looks like. That looks pretty good. Okay, and let's adjust the iterations. Um, so I'm happy with uh, reducing it down to 555. Um, oh, I uh, did the fillet segment to 5. Let's drop that back down to 1 because we're getting a very odd looking um, corner there. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to be just making a copy of that just so that we go and hit the mattress. So the next, this next part is all just by sizing it and scaling it to suit. So we just do it by eye, um, that's fine. We don't have to be super accurate here. Just push all the way to the back of the, um, the, the, the bed. Now, what we can do is to be super accurate that it's one on top of the other. We can go to a side view and snap it to grid to make sure that we've got edge as the snap choice. And bang, that's beautiful. Now we're gonna do is uh, scroll it to the right hand side. And there we have it, folks. Now we've got the base of the bed the headbed and the mattress. Now, next, what we're going to do is we're going to pull, create a plane, and this is going to be the duvet. So we, now the duvet is going to be pretty wide and also has to be very thick. So we just need to make sure that we get the right size of this. If we get this wrong, it's going to take us a little while to go back and do it over again. Um, you can adjust it as you're doing the animation. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to increase it to five. I think we might have to increase a little bit more. Increase the segment up to, say, 50. The reason for this is that as we drop the duvet onto the hard surface, it's going to have to use as many um, uh, segments as possible to ensure that it does retain that, um, that realistic look. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, to bend. This is the bend modifier. 
Now, we hit gizmo on the bend modifier and we adjust it and we in introduce the angle. Notice how I hit the limit effects and we increase that to upper limit. Now, as we increase the angle, we also increase the upper limit of the limit effects. This is going to give us that nice bend so it doesn't um, break the, uh, the, um, the surface or the uh, po polygons. Um, okay, now what we can do is we can adjust it, move it left or right. Looks amazing. And now we're going to remove ourselves out of isolate uh, mode and we're back with all the matrices, etc. Just have to orientate it in the right, in the right direction because we will be dropping it onto the hard surface. So first things first is once we get this angle right, uh, this position correctly so it lands proportionately on that, okay, we might need to adjust the scale a little bit, but the best thing to do is just drop it back on the bed and see how far we need to push it left or right. Okay, I think that's not too bad. I think we could probably go with that. Um, so let's try to make this adjustment now rather than later. And now I think we should be happy with that, a little bit shorter. Okay, we're good with that now. Um, I think just on the edge a little bit. Okay, and we should pull this up now and ready to drop it onto the, the plane, convert it into an editable for poly first and on an angle because we want it to land as if it's being thrown on top rather than positioned perfectly. The reason why we're adding the floor is because we're gonna also make the floor as a hard surface so that if the blanket, as the blanket lands, it also that doesn't just land on in nothing. We've also um, selected the rigid body to be the mattress, the base of the bed, and also the floor. So if we go to mass FX, rigid bodies, that's where you're going to basically find this. Once again, you go to animation menu, mass FX, and rigid body. So these are the, all the bodies that are going to be rigid. So as the blank falls, it's going to bounce off all the rigid bodies. Now we convert the actual blanket into an M cloth. So we go to MFX and the cloths um, choice, and we drop it. So we go ahead and hit si um, uh, simulation. And once we find that we are happy with that, we can just let it go. At any point in time, we can convert it into a poly and leave it as it is. Notice how it's sliding, continues to slide. We convert it to a poly right now. So now if you want to reset it, you go back to animation, mass effects, simulation, and do the reset. And more, well, we can just keep on playing it back and forth like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the actual um, uh, coverlet, uh, which is a decorative piece. And it's just a plane again. And this time we're going to add a shell uh, to it as well, but we're going to reduce it. Instead of being six centimeters like the duvet, maybe two centimeters should be fine. Now we're going to position it nicely and we are going to make the duvet the rigid surface, the hard surface and convert the actual um, uh, uh, um, uh, the decorative piece into a M cloth. So now we're going to raise it up and we're going to go to animation and convert that into a cloth and M cloth. So you see on the right hand side that now that object is an M cloth, we're going to drop it and there you go. So to do that animation, you just go to animation, mass effects, and simulation option and press run. That's as simple as that. Now we're going to go ahead and create a bunch of pillows. So a pillow is just basically we went to, um, we built a um, comfort square and we have created some segments and we're now just positioning it on the bed to see how it how the size works, we're going to isolate it. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to add um, the FFD 4x4x4 modifier, hit control points, and now we can modify these control points and pull it out a little bit. So we distort the, um, the shape of the box. And I think that should be fine. So once we're done with that, we'll go to the transform later and make some adjustments on the edges. So I think I'm fine with that. Now we're going to convert that into an editable poly. And next time, nope, with that one and this one. Yep, we're going to go to freeform. And now here we can click the uh, shift option and just move the edges around a little bit so it's not too perfect. Uh, pillows never are. Create a bit of noise everywhere. It's just so that um, 
it doesn't look too refined. You can spend a lot of time doing this. There's probably an easy way to do this, but um, but this is quick and easy, uh, an easy way of doing it. Um, so now once we find the shape that we want, um, we can then just basically get out of this option and see how it looks on the bed. So now we've done the flattening part. So we're just going to flatten things the surfaces to make them look less uh, angled. So it's not like uh, a solid, it's more fabric. Now we're going to get out of the isolate option and then adjust it on the bed. We're going to drop it nicely there. Now, uh, what we're going to what, what we're going to do instead of creating a brand new one from scratch, we're just going to use this one, create a copy of it like so, and then just make different adjustments by going again to transform. We're going to do shift and shift the various parts around again. So this saves a bit of time and add different types of noise on top of it, so that it looks like we've got actually two different pillows. It's really just one object that we've just copied and we've just used the free form um, and uh, in the free form we just use three real options here shift flatten and noise okay so once we're happy with that um, we can then um, uh, adjust it according to the bed and make a few little tiny changes but in essence that's it okay and yeah now Instead of having just two pillows, I think what we should do is actually add another two pillows. It's going to add to the time, obviously. We could leave it here and just go straight to render, but I think that we should add another two pillows. So what we're going to do is just, in, just bring them up, and what we're going to do is switch them all around. So the bottom one is going to be the top one on the right, and the bottom one on the left is going to be the top one on the right i hope i said that the right way but you see what i'm getting at so i'm just going to mix them around so it doesn't look like we're just reusing the same pillow over and over again so now what we're going to do is just going to put one pillow in a bit of an angle on top of the other pillow and uh i think that's it so we're just messing around with it you can do this in many many different ways but it's up to you how you position it the key aspect of this whole um 15 minute lesson our tutorial is really around the utilization of the mass effects for creation of the blanket um, and um, and also at the same time uh, the, uh, the various nuances around using um, the extrude and so forth. So now here once we've done this uh, you can see that we can now apply turbo smooth now. So remember don't apply try to avoid applying turbo smooth bef uh, um, before mass effects. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of calculations that the engine is going to be doing because you're adding a lot more points or vertices on the actual uh, elements. So let's make sure that you do the turbo smooth after you apply the mass FX. So now it's all about just selecting the material. Now this is the fun part. It, this can take a little while as well because, um, yeah, my my um, uh, creative um uh, taste is probably very different to your creative taste. So now what we're going to do is just drop the various materials on the actual objects. Now, notice how that just looks horrible. It's not real-time rendering and the UV maps are all over the shop. But it doesn't matter. We know approximately how this looks like by just looking at the Cosmos um, elements that we're dropping in. And I'm quite happy with that. Maybe a few little tweaks and changes. But yes, I do recommend you go and hit Cosmos. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a free library with um, uh, 3ds Max um, and V-Ray. So there's some very interesting items here that you can choose from. And once you're happy with the, the actual fabric you want, we'll then um, bring in a light and, um, and then a camera and see how the renderer renders it. I like this red cloth here for the um, for the decorative piece uh, and now what we're going to do is just add some UV maps and make the adjustments um, I don't we'll make the adjustments a little bit later so let's just add all the U, UVWM uh, UVW maps to all the objects and I think the pillows are missing um, textures <coughs> so let's just add them in yep that looks good Okay, I think we're nearly done and we just need to make sure that all the objects, the pillows and everything have 
UV maps associated with them. So we'll go ahead and click the rendering settings. But before we do, let's add, add a light. It's the light plane. So increase it, make it face and point the bed. There we have it. Okay. And I usually do this on two screens rather than one, but now we've got the light, but notice how the um, the textures are just horrible. The, the UV maps need to be adjusted. So it doesn't look good at all, but that's essentially the rendered piece there, but without the UV maps and the adjustments that we're going to make. So now what we do is we go to every single one of these items. We go to the UV maps and increase the size in accordance with the um, uh, specifications of the material that we added, because it does tell you uh, the tile size uh, that's recommended. So uh, as you add all the items from Cosmos, it tells you it's a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, 200 by 200. So you make these adjustments to the UV maps. And that way, once you're complete, the rendered uh, image is going to look amazing. Okay, so V-Ray is absolutely fantastic for rendering um, uh, V-Ray objects. Now, there it is, guys. Okay, so that's been 15 minutes um, starting from pretty much nothing to a bed model now to a rendered piece now you can make some additional noise additional adjustments notice how i didn't convert them into editable polys because i didn't want to lose the original editable poly um, perimeter so we can make some adjustments uh, such as shifting and noises using the freeform um, options now if you're not happy with uh, the outcome you can always go back to cosmos and uh, add and change it up a little bit now, we're just adding the floor here to give it a little bit more of an effect. Let's go 500 uh, is a better option because it make, makes it a little bit thinner, a little bit more realistic. And there you go, folks. Um, now, if you really like this video, please hit subscribe and like. Uh, my name is Nico, and I uh, we'll hope to catch you next time. Okay, bye for now.